In this video, let us understand this formula, which is a fresh water allowance in millimeter is equal to displacement in tons. This is summer displacement divided by 4 into TPC, which is tons per a centimeter. Now let's have the ship and we are looking the ship in the transfer direction. As the ship is in salt water, this is water line W and L and this is the underwater volume. Let me mark this. This is uh, underwater volume and it is denoted by capital letter V. Now as the ship goes to fresh water, ship will sink further which will increase the underwater volume. So now the ship is in fresh water. This would have increase the underwater volume this way by amount small v. We know that the mass is equal to volume into density which comes from this formula density is equal to mass over volume. So mass is equal to volume into density. Well mass of salt water displaced is going to be 1.025 that is the relative density instead of this density we can use the relative density relative density of salt water which is 1.025 into capital V which is the volume of salt water displaced similarly when the vessel is in fresh water the volume is a small v plus capital V Look at this. When the ship is in fresh water, the total underwater volume is small v plus capital V. So the mass of a fresh water displaced is going to be the density of fresh water or relative density of fresh water, which is 1 plus V plus V. That is capital V and small v. Well, both are same. Why? Because we have not loaded anything or discharged anything. So both are same. So this means 1.025 capital V is equal to capital V plus small v. Well, we can simplify this further which gives a small v is equal to capital V divided by 40. Why? Because 1 by 40 is equal to 0 0.025. We can check with calculator as well. Now we'll multiply both the side with 1.025. So we get this relationship. The small d, small v multiplied by 1.025 is equal to capital V into 1.025. We have multiplied both sides with 1.025. So I get a very, very a unique relationship. Suppose a small w was mass of salt water in volume a small v and capital W was mass of salt water in volume V. So with the relationship D is equal to M by V. So M is equal to V into D. So for V into 1.025 that is mass of salt water in volume V I write a small w. Similarly for mass of salt water in volume V, that is capital V, we get this capital W. So the relationship is small w divided by capital W divided by 40. Now we'll use the application of a TPC while well, TPC is tons required to change the ship's draft by one centimeter so in case of cargo to load we have this relationship that cargo to load is a mean sinkage in centimeter this is important and the TPC well here 
we will see that the sinkage is nothing but the fresh water allowance because that is the increase in draft when the ship goes from salt water to fresh water so that the fresh water allowance is increase increase in draft when the ship goes from salt water to fresh water so this is our fresh water allowance well we need to have this allowance in centimeter so i multiply this by 1 by 10 so this is nothing but a sinkage and this is tpc well this will give me cargo to load however we have just concluded that a small w is equal to capital w divided by 40 so instead of this i can write like this this small w is fresh water allowance into tpc divided by 10 i write the full equation like this is equal to w by 40 so fresh water allowance is i get the tpc this side so fresh water allowance is w divided by 4 into tpc where w is a summer displacement summer displacement which means that vessel is loaded up to summer load line mark in a salt water and the tpc is turns per a centimeter that is the immersion which is also for salt water